Hey there, this week's tech tip is all about how you can differentiate by using Google Classroom. To access Classroom, you're just gonna come over to the top right hand side of your screen. You can click on the app launcher and you will see the icon for Classroom. It will take you to a list of all of your classrooms that you have. Uh, just as a quick reminder, if you have older classrooms that you no longer need, all you have to do is click on the three dots right here and you can choose archive. Now if you are a student in a classroom, you cannot remove yourself. So if you have some older classrooms that you no longer need to be a part of, just email the teacher in that course and they should be able to remove you. Okay, so all you're going to do is just click on the class that you want. And if you are reusing a Google Classroom from last year, you may want to just double check and make sure you don't have any of last year's students in there. So if you come over to the People tab, you should see anyone who's enrolled in your class currently. And if there's a student from last year, all you have to do is click on the student's name and then under Actions, you'll see an option to remove them. Once you are inside of Google Classroom, you can navigate over to the Classwork tab. From here, you can click on Create, and you can decide if you want to create an assignment, quiz, question, add a material, whatever it is that you want to assign. For today, we're just going to create a regular assignment. So you're going to give your assignment a title, and you also have a place to put in your instructions for your students. Now, you can choose to import your own if you just want to make a blank Google Doc or slide for the students to use, or you can just pull one from your drive. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to pick this Halloween poetry activity and I'm going to attach it to the assignment. Now, you have three options here. You can have students just be able to view the file, they can edit the file, or they can have their own copy. So you can let each student have their own copy of the slide by choosing make a copy for each student. This is much easier for students so they won't have to make their own copy of something or accidentally edit someone else's work. So after you add your file, you have the option to include a due date and a time, and you can also file your assignment under a specific topic. Now before you assign the work, you can come up here to the top and you'll notice that you can choose multiple classes, but another thing that you may notice is you have the option to decide who needs to get the assignment. So this is where you can demonstrate differentiation by assigning specific work to different students if needed. You also have an option to schedule your assignment in case you want it to go out at a specific date and time if needed. Another way to differentiate in Google Classroom is to provide students choices for how they want to demonstrate their work. Here's an example of a digital story assignment for a class. Their rubric is attached, but there's also multiple links for them to make their own choice of which tool to use for their digital story. You could also include examples like choice boards or different activities as well. Do you have an idea of how to differentiate in Google Classroom? If so, let us know. We would love to give you a shout out in our newsletter or a future video. If you have any questions of how to use Google Classroom, please contact your ITS.